All right, this is a video on basic multiplication. In this lesson, I hope it shows you how repeated addition and multiplication relate to each other. Now let's look at skip counting songs. This, hopefully you've learned your skip counting songs. If you haven't, I would suggest you go back and watch my videos. And if not, I'll show you another method if the songs just don't work for you. But there's 10 numbers here. And what we do is each number represents a finger. So if I were gonna count, I'm after, once I get to 18, I'm gonna not be able to point, but it goes like this. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Okay, so that's how we skip count. But why is skip counting cool? Well, when you're skip counting, all you're doing is you're counting by threes. So first I have three, and then I add another three, which is six. Then I add another three, which is nine, and I keep adding threes each time, okay, until I get to 30. So I'll move that over, okay, okay. So let's do an example of this and try to show how skip counting, which is this, relates to repeated addition and also relates to multiplication. Okay, so we did our skip counting. So now I'm gonna give you a problem. How about four times three? What this really means is four groups of three. So what I have here is I have this problem here. So I'm going to do it. I have four groups of three. So I have one group of three, two group of threes, three group of threes, four groups of three. And then I'm going to put a plus sign in there. Now this is repeated addition. Why? It's not because we keep repeating the plus sign. It's because we keep repeating the same number. We have only threes here and they keep repeating. So if I wanted to count this and I didn't know my skip counting songs, what I like to do is draw a die and I just count it. So I say, I'm gonna count all these numbers up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this equals 12. So I could use repeated addition and not use my skip counting songs to multiply. Okay. Or I can actually multiply. Now when I'm multiplying, this number right here is the fingers, and this is the skip count, counting song I'm going to use. So I'm going to use four fingers, and I'm going to be skip counting by three. So here we go. So four fingers. Three, six, nine, twelve. I have four fingers. I ended up on twelve. So these two relate to each other. This is just telling me how many groups of three. This is specifically writing how many groups of three I have. So I always get the same answer. Okay. All right, let's do another problem. Okay. And these are gonna get progressively harder. So this is the first one. Okay, you might get a question that looks like this. What is another way to write five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five? Well, that looks like repeated addition because I have five repeating, okay? And I'm adding, okay? So it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six groups of five. So that's, a, and this is six groups, one, two, three, four, five, six of five. So that's another way to write this expression. Now, this is called a re expression because there is no equal sign, okay? When you only have this without the equal sign, it's called an expression. You can have an expression that's addition because this is an expression we don't have an equal sign and this is also an expression. Next slide. 
You might get something that looks like this. It might say fill in the blank. Well, that's pretty easy. This looks like repeated addition. It looks like you have two eights. So I have two groups of eight. So two groups, we know this means of. So I know this must mean eight. Next slide. Okay, next problem. This one says, which of the expressions below equal 22? Select all that apply. So here we have a math vocabulary word, which makes this seem a little difficult, but it's not. The word expression. Expression means that it doesn't have an equal sign. So you'll notice this one doesn't have an equal sign, this one doesn't have an equal sign, this one doesn't have an equal sign, and this one doesn't have an equal sign. So all they're asking you is, which one of these equals 22. So let's do the first one. I could do these in my head, but I'd like to show what I'm thinking by writing them down. And I think you should too. So this is eight times three. Eight times three, I could use my skip counting songs. So this right here would be the number of fingers I would have. And this right here would be the song I would sing. So this is eight fingers and skip counting by threes. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So the answer to this one is 24. But I also could have used skip counting. So that sometimes works if you, if you don't know the multiplication fact. So this is eight groups of three, so I do eight threes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight threes, and I just add them up. Now that's a lot of numbers. If that's difficult for you, what I like to do is I like to draw a box and draw the number that I'm repeatingly skip counting, and then I just count them as I point. So the first one, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So that's equal to twenty-four. So you also could do it that way. Okay. B. So it looks like eight times three is equal to twenty-four. That's not twenty-two, so that does not work. So now I'll go to B. B looks like we have repeated addition. So B is 11 plus 11. I don't like solving problems horizontally. I like solving them vertically. So I'm just gonna solve this vertically. One plus one is two. One plus one is two. So this one is equal to 22. Yes, so I'm gonna circle that one. That is correct. Now you could have also done this with multiplication, which might have been a little faster two groups of 11. And then if you knew your 11s, 1122, that would have been a lot faster. So, okay, either way is fine though. C, C again is written a repeated addition problem that's written horizontally, and I like to solve it vertically. So 12 plus 12, two plus two is four, one plus one is two. So this one's equal to 24, so that is not correct because it's not equal to 22. I could have also done this with multiplication. It looks like there's one, two groups of, remember this always means of 12. And then I'm gonna do two fingers and I'm gonna count by 12s. So 12, 24. So I did that a little faster. I don't know, you choose which way you like. So that's 24 and it's supposed to be 22. That one didn't work. And the last one, which is D. D is, looks like repeated addition, seven plus seven plus seven. Now we could use this method again, where I just draw a five and a two. So I know that adds up to seven. And I'm just going to count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I've got 21 there. Or I could have just done three groups of seven. And I know that this is um, how many fingers I'm ha gonna have and this is the skip counting song. So I'm gonna use the skip counting song by sevens and I'm gonna count three fingers. Seven, 14, 21. So I got 21 again. So two different methods to get the same answer, okay? And for hit, here it said select all that apply. Usually when they have that, there's more than one, but in this case, there was only one answer. Okay, next problem. Now these are getting progressively harder, so this is probably the hardest one. It says, place the correct expression and that's again one of those math words in the correct category based on their value so there's like three words here expression remember that means they don't have equal signs the category category just means the box okay it's saying which one of these is equal to eight which one of these is equal to 12 which one of these is equal to 16? And the value is just their answer, okay? So let's do this problem. I'm gonna do each problem two different ways and then I'm going to put them in the correct category. So the first one is three times four. So I know this is three groups of four or three fingers and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna skip count by fours. So here I go, 4, 8, 12. So this one's equal to 12. Or I could have done this three groups of four. So one group of four, two groups of four, three groups of four, and add. I put my box here, and I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So either two different methods, one answer. So these are e this problem here is equal to 12. So I would just move that over to the 12 category. Okay. The green one is 4 times 2. Again, I would circle this 4. I know this means of, so it's four groups of 2. So this means how many fingers I'm going to have and this is a skip counting song. So Two, four, six, eight. I get eight. Or I could have done it using repeated addition. Four groups of two. So one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two. I add them together. And I, I just like moving this box. And I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This way also equals eight. So this one is equal to eight, so I'd put it into this category. So this is kind of just going over three different vocab words. And the la oh, the second to last problem, the purple. I gotta leave myself some more room. Four groups of four. So again, I'm just gonna circle this. This means of. And then it's four groups of four, so I'm going to have four fingers and skip count by four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So this is equal to sixteen, or I could have done it with repeated addition. So this is four groups of four, so one group, two group, three groups, four groups. I add them, and I'm going to put my box over here because I'm running out of room. So I would do this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So this equals sixteen also. This is repeated addition. This is multiplication. They're both related. They're both equal to sixteen. Now the last one, which is the pink one, eight groups of two. Remember, this is your fingers, this is a skip counting song, so I'm gonna skip count by twos, have eight fingers. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 
12, 14, 16. So this is equal to 16, or I could have done eight groups of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have enough room here, so I'm gonna do my box with two. And this is repeated addition, because I know repeated addition relates to multiplication. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I got to 16, so they're both equal to 16, so this one, the pink one, goes into the 16 category. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks, bye.